Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm very excited today to show you the new 1.2.2 model for video generation that brings a lot of update. It can generate high quality video with good noise reduction thanks to its mixture of expert architecture. It will give you stunning cinematic level results since the model was trained on 14 billion parameters data. It can also handle complex motion generation, light changing, camera angle changing, and also video saturation with over 20% more data compared to Wine 2.1. It can create video at 24 FPS at 720p resolution. So today I will try to show you how you can use it and most importantly how to run it on the low VRAM GPU like the RTX 3060 6GB of VRAM using my custom workflow where I was able to generate videos at this resolution even at 121 frames per second and without running out of VRAM and this was possible due to stage attention too so without further ado let's dive into tutorial okay if you head over to comfy uh, website you can see that the 12.2 is natively supported first date so all you have to do here is to open up your comfy UI, go to manager and click update comfy UI. this way you will have automatically all the necessary notes and the workflow for 12.2 model the next thing is to download the model. This uh, update has uh, multiple versions of uh, 1.2.2 model. We have the text to video and also the image to video. We have the 14 billion parameter FP16 and FP8. We also have this version in two types, the high noise version and the low noise version. So you need to download all those versions in order for you to use the workflows. For low VRAM uh, graphic card users, make sure to download this FP8 version. And thanks to some uh, people, we also have the GGUF version where uh, you can see here we have the high noise and the low noise too. And we can start from the Q2 until the Q8. For this uh, example, I am using the Q4 uh, KS version. So once you have downloaded the model, make sure to go to your Comfy UI root folder under model. If you are using the FP8 normal version, make sure to go under the Fusion model and paste your models here. Otherwise, if you have downloaded the GGWeb version, make sure to, the, uh, to paste your models here. As you can see, I have here the text to video model and also the image to video model. Okay, if we go back to Comfy UI website, you can also see that there is a 5 billion parameters version. For my case, I did not uh, try this version. I tried directly the 14 billion parameter version. You will also need to download the new VAE. As you can see here, the way I have a new VAE. And if you are uh, familiar with 1.2.1, uh, you already have this UMT T5XXL version for the text encoder. So when you finish downloading, make sure to put this one version under Comfy UI root folder, then enter model, enter VAE subfolder, and paste it here. The same thing goes for the text encoder where I put it under the clip uh, subfolder. Okay, now that we have all the necessary model, make sure to open up Comfy UI under workflow, click browse template, then click on video, and you can see that we have the one 2.2 text to video workflow, image to video workflow, and the 5 billion parameters video generation workflow too. So you can directly use those workflow. But in order for you to optimize your video generation, I will show you how you can use Sage Attention 2, which is another method that you can use in Comfy UI necessary for you, since it will allow you to boost your performance uh, two times uh, more faster. And the best way to do that is to use this easy install Comfy UI. All you have to do is using the link under my description. And if you scroll down here, you can download the latest release. It has optional uh, add-on like Sage Attention 2 and Nunchaku. And the most important thing is, uh, is the usage of this Sage Attention 2 version. If you enter here, you can see that this Sage Attention allows you to speed up your video or image generation using uh, any uh, video graphic card. Okay, once you have finished downloading this uh, file, you will have this zip file. Make sure to extract it here. And once you extract it, you will end up having those three files. Make sure to enter Comfy UI Easy Install. 
a new window will open up make sure to click ok and it will start installing every necessary file or uh, dependency for your new comfy UI version you will have a new comfy UI version that has included uh, the sage attention to you will uh, not bother yourself with the complex installation once it is done you will have this comfy UI easy install folder when you open up this uh, new folder you can see that we have here add-on uh, make sure to open up the stage attention to uh, press enter it will do the same thing for the stage attention add-on and it will include a new version of comfy ui with stage attention to included this way you will end up having new additional files and as you can see here uh, i have this run nvidia gpu sage attention let's try to open up this with the block notes and the main difference is uh, set here when we have the new argument use sage attention okay but before doing that we will do another final step is to use this extra model path maker make sure to copy it then go to your comfy ui root folder the old version under model make sure to copy it here we click ok then open up this extra model path maker you will end up having this extra model path make sure to copy it Go to this new Comfy UI easy install with Sage Attention, enter Comfy UI and paste it here. As you can see, I am having this model here. This way you will not end up downloading all the necessary models for your old, old Comfy UI. It will be connected automatically with the, the model folder of your old Comfy UI version. Okay, once it is done, make sure to open up Comfy UI using this run NVIDIA GPU Sage Attention. Okay, now we open up a new version of Comfy UI. Let's open up my custom workflow and we will start with text to image. You can, of course, use the version included natively in Comfy UI, which you can find here as I showed you earlier. However, I will use this uh, version since it is optimized uh, to work with the low graphic card PC users. Okay. If you pay attention here, I regrouped in this first column all the necessary model. Uh, I am using the text to video high noise Q4 version and here I am using the same model however it is the low noise version the clip loader is uh, set to UMT 5XXL and for the VAE I could not generate video with the, the one 2.2 VAE I don't know why you can tell me if you encounter the same problem in the comment section below I use directly the Wine 2.1 VAE and it works perfectly fine. If we focus here, we have uh, the Power LoRa loader where we use this Light 2, Light X2V LoRa model in order to decrease the steps and the CFG. You can here so see that I am setting the steps to 8. You can start generating uh, in 4 steps, but to obtain a good and amazing results, I suggest you to set it uh, to 8 and the CFG of 1. The sample name is set to LCM and the scheduler is set to simple. As you can see, we are not using the uh, regular key sampler. We are using the advanced version of this key sampler. We have here the start at step 0 and end at step 4. And the main reason behind that is we are using two versions of uh, the, the 1.2.2 model. The high nose is gonna work on the steps uh, 0 until 4 then it's gonna take this uh, data or the results and send it to the second key sampler where it will start at the step 4 until it completed the, uh, the step 8 this way we will end up uh, having more uh, impressive uh, and stunning results as you can see here that's the main difference between uh, this uh, workflow and the old one 2.1 workflow as you can see we also have the text encode for the high uh, version high noise version and the text encode for the low version since uh, uh, every uh, models uh, need its clip text encoder and also its power LoRa loader it is a simple and basic workflow and as you can see here we have this empty honey one latent video where i set the width and the height to this resolution the length is set to 21 frames but i was able to generate uh, videos even at 121 frames and uh, this was made possible due to sage attention you can also notice that i am not using any node relative to sage attention since it is uh, natively included on this comfy y version 
which make it uh, more uh, amazing. Here I also included all uh, the used prompt. You can test, test them if you want. And that's it for this uh, comfy white text to video model. Now I will try to show you the results in order for you to get a taste of uh, what this model can do. Okay, the first uh, prompt that we used, prompt of these two cats uh, having a fox fight together. As you can see, the quality looks amazing and the motion of the fight and also the, the movement of the camera is very consistent. The second video that we generate is this golden coccinelle here. As you can see, all the, motion, the motion looks very uh, consistent and realistic too. The same goes for this uh, cyber samurai running through the town holding a sword where you can see the motion that looks very impressive and the main thing that we can observe uh, upon this model is that it has good lighting uh, generation and also good camera and character movement if you're having trouble uh, generating a video using this text to video i will strongly suggest you to use this uh, workflow with sage attention to and if we talk about the generation time, it gives me twice the, uh, the performance boost compared uh, to my old Comfy Y version. So it is really worth it to do all those installation steps in order to get these results. Okay, now let's talk about the image to video workflow. As you can see, I also built a new custom workflow for this task. However, you can use directly the workflow provided with the Comfy UI update. Just go to browse template here and if you open up this workflow, you can see that it also has uh, the key sampler advanced and the low and high noise version. And it will create a video based on two steps. However, I was not able to make it run using uh, the double uh, model loaders. Uh, I always run out of VRAM. But if you have a VRAM higher than 6 GB of VRAM, you can use directly the workflow provided with ConfiUI update. But if you have a VRAM lower than 6 GB, you can use directly my workflow since we will only use uh, uh, one pass sampler. As you can see here, I am using the GGUF load or the low noise uh, model. Um, I am still using the light uh, X uh, LoRa with strength value equal to 125. The clip loader we are still using the UMT5XXL and we also use the 12.1 VAE. This workflow is very simple and uh, classic. We have one text encoder and the main difference remain in this one image to video. This note is provided uh, natively in Comfy UI update. And as uh, you can uh, notice, we have the positive prompt, the negative, the VAE, the start image, which should be this load image here. And we will not use this clip vision output. I use directly the start image, the width and the height and the length but i did some modification in order to set everything here where you need to load your image we have this upscaler node in order to get the same resolution of uh, the image uh, with the, those of the video once the, your image is uh, upscaled and reshaped it will be automatically included in this one image to video and we also have the length of the video here once it is done we have the key sampler uh, at the steps of 8. You can also use 4 steps for good uh, results. Make sure to use uh, step of 8. The CFG is set to 1, the sampler name is set to UniPC, and the shader is set to simple. Once you end up, this uh, VAE decode is going to create a video at 16 FPS. And that's the main difference between the text to video and the image to video models. The image to video models create videos at 16 fps however for text to video we have uh, 24 fps uh, video okay let's see the results of uh, our generated uh, videos starting with this image of this lady as you can see it is smiling and uh, saying hi with uh, her hands and the motion looks also very consistent like the text to video the second example is uh, this uh, walking lady over here holding a gun you can also see the results uh, which is very good I also tested different resolution in order to see the performance of this model. Starting with this image, as you can see, we have this man riding a hippopotam and the results is not quite impressive. I also tested with the other images and you can clearly see that the motion looks consistent. However, we're still having some noise issue here and this mainly due to uh, our uh, first pass uh, workflow. So uh, for image to video, if you have a higher VRAM, 
I strongly suggest you to use the workflow provided with the Comfy UI update since it will uh, treat the video more efficiently using the high pass denoise and also the low pass denoise that's it for today's video for my case i will uh, continue doing a video about the uh, one 2.2 model since it has better uh, results compared to uh, the previous version it also has a good prompt adherence and good uh, consistency for motion and also uh, the generated uh, results with this stage attention version looks very promising also have a update uh, regarding the loras which will provide us better results i hope and especially for the image to video good that's it for today's tutorial if you like this video please push the like button for me subscribe to my channel leave me some comments down below and don't forget to become a member of my patreon page where you can get early access to my workflow some comfy ui news and also you will get uh, additional support regarding comfy ui or uh, any other workflow building thank you